Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course V-Ray 5 Masterclass, your complete guide to V-Ray 4 3ds Max. It's a massive 15 plus hours course in which we explore all the aspects of V-Ray 4 3ds Max thoroughly. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Now let's go for a quick concrete shader. I'm going to add a new V-Ray material and assign it. Use roughness instead of glossiness. I'm going to add a new V-Ray bitmap node and load this concrete underscore zero one underscore D. And use it as the diffuse map. For the reflection roughness map, connect the same map first to an output map. For the same reason that we inverted the parquet roughness texture, we need to invert this map as well. And let's use it as the reflection roughness map. And for the bump map, connect the original diffuse map to the bump map input of a very normal map node. And set the bump amount to something like 0.3. And that's a simple concrete shader. I didn't use the noise map here for that overall unevenness or waviness. You can do that as well, but here the surface is rough and that waviness is generally visible on more, you know, reflective sharper surfaces and here is our final concrete render Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, Octane and so on. See you in the next video.